Early last year, we covered the story of the discovery of new hominid fossils in the cradle of humankind. Australopithecus sediba was discovered by the well-reputed paleoanthropologist Professor Lee Berger's son, and the story made headlines in 99 countries, the cover of Time magazine, and was one of the most amazing discoveries made using Google Earth. Onlangs is daar vijf nieuwe referaten in die internationale wetenskapsjournaal Science gepubliseer, wat gebaseer is op nieuwe bewijstukke oor hier die fossiele. Omtrent 80 wetenskapelikes van recht oor die wereld het aan die project gewerk, en hulle bevindinge is op 8 september internationaal vrygestel, tijdens een nieuwsconferentie by die Witse Herkomstcentrum. Simon het daar met professor Lee Berger gaan gesels. Lee, the first time we spoke to you was about 18 months ago. You had just announced uh, the discovery of uh, Carabo, the first uh, Sediba fossil. What have you got for us this time? Well, we've discovered, quite simply, in the most critical areas to the anatomy of early humans, uh, the most complete fossils ever discovered. They give us a completely new insight into uh, the way in which we evolved. Um, from Australopithecus Sediba, we have from literally the toes up to the top of the head, uh, the most remarkable evidence about human evolution that we've ever seen, like this hand. You're looking at a hand that uh, is at the end of a long ape-like arm that is effectively human-like. Uh, it's got short fingers, lack of curvature, a long thumb. That's almost our, our hand. In fact, it's probably the closest hand to us that's ever been discovered outside of a Neanderthal. It's more advanced than the hand of Homo habilis but it should not be sitting in Australopithecus sediba with its 420 cubic centimeter brain and its relatively primitive morphologies. But we also have announced the most accurate and complete brain that has ever been scanned through. And what it tells us is a complete surprise. This is not the brain of Mrs. Plez or Lucy or anything like this. This brain in the front part, the anterior aspect, is in fact the most advanced Australopithecine brain ever discovered. In fact, it's almost human-like in the anterior portions. It's got an enlarged Broca's area, and that we tie to language sometimes. But the overall shape is that of an Australopithecine. It just shouldn't be like that if we understood the way human evolution worked. In fact, until this came along, we would have thought that brain increase in size occurred first, then reorganization. What this now tells us is the possibility that we had it wrong, that reorganization took place before we saw brain size increase. And when you combine it with that hand, it tells a very compelling story about the manipulation and our ability to have this very precise prehensile grip. We also have announced the uh, most complete undistorted pelvis. So that's the other critical area. We always talk about the head, the hands, the pelvis, and the feet as identifying us as our lineage from all the other apes and all other mammals. Well, here's the most complete pelvis that's ever been discovered, and it doesn't look like it should. It doesn't look like Lucy's pelvis. It doesn't look like the pelvises that are associated with Mrs. Plez. Those are very wide and broad and very stable. So it's a perfect combination of something incredibly advanced and incredibly unique to us, and something that's associated with the ancestry of our lineage. And then down in the foot, we have the most complete and first articulated ankle ever discovered in the fossil record, and it tells another story. Again, a mosaic story. That is that the heel, contrary to being perfectly human-like, is in fact ape-like. It looks like a chimpanzee heel. But the bone that's attached to it in anatomical position that links the back of the foot to the front of the foot looks just like a human. If we had found those bones just 10 centimeters apart, we would have not only put them in different species, but possibly in different genera. But we found them together. We sit with a record that's unprecedented in its scale, the most complete skeletons that have ever been discovered in the history of searching for human origins, and they tell a brand new story that we hadn't expected. What a wonderful discovery for South Africa, since Australopithecus sediba was found.